Good evening. This is Dr. John Bennett, another in a series of Parkinsonism uh, medical medical educational videos with world-renowned medical educator, educator Dr. Abdul Rana, from a neurologist from Toronto, Canada. Uh, tonight, the subject is micrographia and Parkinsonism, or difficulty with dexterous movements, which I didn't know what that meant. Anyways, uh, Dr. Rana is going to talk about it, uh, and welcome, Dr. Rana. Thank you, Dr. Bennett. Okay, so let's keep rolling on here. Let me start off with a, a question. What type of fine tasks are affected with Parkinsonism? Uh, most patients would uh, report uh, they have trouble fastening buttons or tying shoelaces, uh, trimming their hair, putting makeup, shaving, or brushing their teeth, or chopping food. Uh, they feel slow and clumsy and uh, sometimes they may need help of other people when they're dressing, especially when it comes to these activities. Uh, so uh, uh, also their writing is affected as well. I had a patient who uh, used to tell me all the time that I look uh, uh, much older than my age with my gray beard. And uh, uh, one day I, I saw him and uh, he started growing a beard. So I did ask him, I said, why you want to look old? He said, no, I can't train my mustache or uh, shave anymore. I have difficulty with uh, uh, these uh, fine movements. And, uh, and so uh, this is uh, a common presentation of these patients or a common complaint. And it goes with bradykinesia. It's a slowness of movements. It's a uh, motor manifestation. And it's uh, one of the common complaints uh, of these patients. It does get worse as the disease progresses. And uh, sometimes a stage comes when, uh, for most of these activities, they, they become dependent uh, on other people, unfortunately. These, uh, uh, these type of problems, uh, uh, to some extent, uh, could be helped uh, by, by medications, as well as uh, some other techniques, uh, uh, such as practicing their hand grip, um, taking a uh, ball and squeeze it, uh, it uh, could uh, help to maintain their hand function uh, or uh, um, having some support from their family members. The dopaminergic medications, especially in the beginning, could help uh, because uh, till the first few stages of Parkinson's disease, uh, the dopaminergic medication do show a good response. So these patients could benefit from uh, uh, levodopa or other dopaminergic medications. But as disease progresses, then it becomes more and more difficult to see the response from even dopaminergic medications. Is that, is that one of the first presenting symptoms or signs of Parkinsonism, the, the difficulty of micrographia? Is that a very early? It, it could be presenting a symptom in some cases. Uh, most patients uh, would uh, be, pre if they don't have a tremor, they could have slowness of movements. And uh, with other complaints, such as their speed of walking has decreased, or they take much longer time in dressing or walking, uh, or with other tasks. So these uh, uh, fine activities um, always uh, go with, uh, uh, with the major uh, uh, slowness of uh, movements. How does uh, micrographia generally present? You kind of covered it, but can you completely cover it, please? Usually patients uh, would have a decrease in the size of letters and the distance between the uh, letters would also uh, be less. Not only the size of letters decreased, but also the distance between the letters is also decreased. And uh, this does go along with the bradykinesia or slowness of other movements or sometimes with hypophonia. These patients may have uh, softness of their voice so some reports suggest that they could have more difficulty when they're writing in their native language. Uh, the exact etiology is not known for this phenomena. However, the impaired execution of uh, the more frequently used task uh, it could be the case uh, which uh, affects these patients. So uh, first uh, their own uh, native language writing is affected. Uh, then the language which they learn afterwards uh, some patients uh, may not be able to complete a sentence or write uh, uh, legibly enough. Uh, these, this symptom could improve partially uh, with dopaminergic medications and uh, um, as long as the medication is working. When they feel on, they, they may 
be able to write better, but when the effect of medication wears off, at that stage they might uh, uh, they might start experiencing the micrographia or trouble with dexterous movements again. Uh, and uh, uh, however, some patients, if they use the auditory or visual cues uh, when they're writing, that could help uh, uh, their um, uh, their writing or the size of writing may stay uh, better uh, if they use those cues. Uh, when these patients they start writing, so uh, at that time the the, the first letter, uh, if you compare, it could be uh, normal or close to normal. But if you compare the first letter to the last letter of the sentence or the last word of the sentence, then you can see an obvious difference that it, they they would start like this, but it goes like this. In our clinic, usually we tell patients to write a very standard sentence, which we compare every time. We tell them to write it. Today is a sunny day in Toronto, and then the first T of today and the T of Toronto is compared, and there is obvious difference in the size. They may start normally, but they start going slow and slow. And sometimes you can ask these patients to draw multiple loops like this, and you can compare the size of the first loop with the size of the last loop. And the last loop would be uh, much uh, smaller than the first loop. They'll go slowly and uh, uh, the last loop will become really small. Uh, so uh, sometimes this could be a presenting symptom. Uh, I had a patient who uh, who went to bank uh, to uh, to draw some money when he wrote a check. Uh, so the teller uh, um, she compared his uh, his signature and uh, refused to honor the check. So uh, she had to check his ID. Uh, so she told him that your handwriting is much different, it's much smaller than it used to be, and your signature is affected. So then he came home and uh, gave it more thought or uh, looked at it, reflected upon this. And this is how he presented to his family physician and uh, um, ended up being referred to our clinic because uh, he had uh, other subtle signs of Parkinson's disease as well. You know, it's funny, Doc, I was just thinking that uh, generally, other doctors can pick up subtle signs, but a hand, a bank teller, and uh, a handwriting expert. I wonder if they they're familiar with that kind of presenting symptom sometimes of Parkinsonism. <laughs> but very interesting. Anyways, uh, can something be done about micrographia? Uh, micrographia again is a difficult symptom to improve. Uh, it could uh, uh, it could response to dopaminergic medications partially, as I said. Uh, otherwise, uh, we advise uh, patients to write in print. If they write in print, they could do better than uh, uh, writing otherwise. Uh, and uh, if they if they practice writing, that could probably help them to maintain their writing. Uh, some reports uh, have suggested uh, using thick pens or pencils. And uh, they, if they have to do some writing, they should try to do it on time when the dopaminergic medications are working. So they should try to complete their writing um, act during that time rather than postponing it to, to the off times. And also when they're writing, they should take some rest in between, write a sentence, take a break, and then start writing. And that would help uh, to regain the size of their writing. And if they sit in a comfortable chair and sit upright rather than stoop over it, that could probably uh, help it. Uh, these are all individual techniques which uh, we learn from different patients. Um, there are um, no uh, um, there are no extensive studies done about these techniques. So these are based on experience of patients and other physicians um, after seeing uh, a large number of these patients. And uh, sometimes if they they, they do um, stretching exercises uh, for neck, shoulder, arms uh, prior to writing, that might give them a boost uh, to uh, to write. And also paying a close attention when they're writing, um, so being very attentive uh, of uh, of not writing small and keeping their handwriting large, it could help. Uh, also writing slowly rather than writing fast. And some patients report that if they they put uh, uh, put a rubber grip around the pen where they hold uh, the pen from their fingers, uh, that might probably help. And they should try to avoid doing other tasks when they're writing. They should focus only on writing and writing small sections uh, rather than writing uh, any big um, section at a time. Also, using a lined paper might help uh, because line, uh, lines on the paper might uh, 
might uh, act as visual cues. And uh, if they freeze during writing, uh, probably those lines could help them. Uh, and uh, other cases, uh, they could use a computer or type. Um, again, difficulty with very cognitive and dexterity will affect their typing as well. Their speed was decreased, but uh, they don't have the trouble uh, to write with the hand then. How is this writing problem, or what we know now as uh, micrographia, different than essential tremor? Uh, the uh, common complaint of essential tremor uh, is trouble with writing as compared to Parkinson's patients. Parkinson's patients would be presenting with uh, um, mostly with a tremor or slowness of movement, and writing would be a, a complaint with it, usually, micrographic. Whereas patients with essential tremor, they usually have uh, uh, have the chief complaint uh, that, that uh, they um, they have trouble writing uh, or when they hold um, things so their hands shake so writing problem in 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 essential tremor is much more prominent uh, than in case of Parkinson's disease or at least the patients take more notice of writing problem in essential tremor essential tremor is much more prevalent than Parkinson's disease in the general public. Uh, some reports have suggested up to 7% prevalence in people, and it's the most common movement disorder and starts either in 20s or in 50s usually and may get slightly worse. But these patients have different type of writing problems. Usually they have, uh, uh, they have large size handwriting and it's uh, more messy. Uh, so uh, sometimes it's referred as macrographia. M-A-C-R-O, macrographia, rather than micrographia. And some people have used the term megalographia as well uh, for, for the writing in, the, uh, in case of essential tremor. And the size of the letters is increased, and the distance between the letters is also more as compared to normal. Uh, and uh, these patients, uh, especially some reports suggest that these, uh, these patients may have trouble on some, uh, some letters, especially letter A, T, uh, or R, uh, they might have more trouble on uh, these letters. Uh, so their handwriting is more large as compared to uh, the as compared to the micrography, which is small, and uh, it is more of uh, uh, more of tremulous, uh, and also the size between the letters is uh, more uh, as compared to the patients. But in patients uh, with the central tremor, we also ask them usually to try spiral. And you can see uh, the, the the spiral uh, uh, very uh, shaky when, when when you look at it. Also, if they if if you check pouring in them, the pouring of liquids, they could uh, also um, have uh, some tremor on pouring. And uh, uh, one more difference in um, essential tremor patients and uh, um, patients with Parkinson's disease is if they have a drink of alcohol uh, and then they write. Uh, so because their tremor uh, dampens with alcohol intake, their handwriting may improve slightly uh, after the um, intake of alcohol as, as compared to patients with Parkinson's disease. Very good. That wraps it up for micrographia or dexterous or difficulty dexterous movements and uh, another small task. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Rana. Until the next time. Thank you. So thank you very much.